when you're looking for somewhere to place your hotspot, you really want to get it um, as close to a window as you can. So um, if you sort of come over here, the LoRa radio isn't line of sight, but if you can get line of sight, it's better. Um, it can go through walls, it can go through buildings, but anything that's in the way will sort of attenuate the signal. So you're, you're gonna get um, less coverage. So if you can get it in a window, um, and obviously when this, um, when this antenna is plugged in, if you can get it sort of as close to the window as possible, that's a, that's a great thing. Um, obviously, if you can get it outside, um, that's even better. So you can see here, there's a very good view, sort of 180 degrees practically. You have got a sort of building slightly in the way, but apart from that, it's a, it's a really good view. Um, however, sort of the, if you can get it higher up and outdoors, it tends to be better because you don't have windows and sort of metal frames and bricks and um, furniture in the way. Let's have a look outside. As you can see out here, um, you know, you can, a similar sort of panoramic view. Um, again, if, if you can get out on a, on a roof, um, there's not many places out here that you can actually really get to um, easily where you could actually mount it. But if you can place a hotspot outside like this and get it on top of a building, you then sort of get a 360 view, uh, in this case of the whole of London, which um, you know, would get you really good coverage, um, which is essentially, as I said earlier, with the proof of coverage, is essentially the whole point in the Helium network. So um, it's getting that really good coverage for people's IoT devices. So actually, uh, over there, there's a uh, power supply. So maybe, maybe I'm wrong. There, there, you could actually stick it on top of there. Um, but yeah, as I said, you, you, with, the, with this one, you can get um, glass fiber antennas and typically, well, our, our ones and some of the other vendors come with the correct cables for plugging them into the uh, indoor connector. Um, however, you would normally have to either put this in a waterproof case uh, if you want to have it actually outside, or you would have to drill a hole through the wall and, and have the cable, the antenna cable sort of running through the wall and then coming outside. It's normally best if you can avoid long runs of antenna cable because for every sort of meter of cable, there is signal loss on the cable. Um, so probably, if, you know, you don't really want to go over five meters or so of cable. Um, and if you can place it outdoors with the antenna directly mounted or with a short cable, uh, that, that tends to be best. Uh, but obviously for that, with this indoor case, you would need a um, waterproof case to put it inside. And as I said, you can buy aftermarket um, outdoor cases that these will fit in and you can just mount them um, inside the case and then run the cables outside. So it's, um, yeah, it, it's fully possible to convert one of the indoor ones to an outdoor. Um, you may just need to do a bit more of an involved, <laughs> um, yeah, do a bit more research into the options essentially. So yeah.